6,955 pounds empty. This is a, uh, what, 30-foot front kitchen VR1 here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You don't see these around anymore. That factory was kind of retooled into something else. Um, this was, how can I describe it? Because, like, Rockwood has their Windjammer V-noses that are pretty popular. This was something more in the line of, like, a working man's, um, you know, not like cutthroat budget focused, but a little more modest as compared to like a, a beautiful, crazy, jazzy, loaded up Rockwood. If you'd like to see if we still have this in stock and available, you can visit the link down here in the video description to check pricing and availability. And uh, you know, if, if we have it, you'll see what uh, what we're asking. Actually, this is here on consignment. Uh, the folks bought this and it hasn't been towed. It was uh, effectively just parked at, actually at a local campground, the beautiful Waffle Farm Campground right here in Coldwater, Michigan, which, great place. We partner up with them. We do a lot of community work with them, like a lot of um, charity benefit type stuff. Fantastic people. Uh, generational, too. It's, it's been, they've been around the area, the whole family for years. Anyway, vis visit, visit the place if you come around the, uh, around the state. Um, so it's been part kept. The chassis hasn't been stressed, you know, it's it's in uh, great shape. Um, it does not have an awning. If you were looking, you may have noticed this does not have an awning. They had more of like a, a hard enclosure at their destination so that they, uh, you know, they took the awning off to accommodate for that. Enclosed heated underbelly. We've got slide side windows and front windows that all open for ventilation. It's funny because this has like the the shell of a Rockwood wind jammer in a sense with the shape of it. Um, but the floor plan actually reminds me a lot of the old 29 FKS Cougar uh, travel trailer. Uh, real similar in the way that the bed and the bathroom have been phrased, or uh, uh, shaped and formed here. Now this is a little different. This has rear propane and battery enclosures. Um, they just, with the Vinos, they didn't decide to, to put all that stuff on the tongue of the trailer apparently. Just something different. It's just odd, so I thought I'd point it out. Not necessarily better or worse. Now, it does still have a full pass-through under the bed. It just has a rear master suite. And that is really a master suite. It's a split bath with a big bed and bathroom back there. Like I said, no awning, but generally, pretty fair shape. Um, step inside for you. Oop, hello, screen door. All right. Classic, light, bright colors. It's got a very good look in here, nice feel. Even with all the, uh, you know, the windows pulled and everything, it feels nice and bright inside. Uh, something that the previous owners uh, must have uh, done as an aftermarket upgrade is they installed a Max Air fan up here. And it actually has a little remote control right there, so you can kind of adjust airflow when the windows are open no matter where you sit in the uh, camper. That's a pretty cool little thing. Big, uh, like, scenic view bay window there with an individual um, swivel rocking barrel chair. Big super slide, full storage overhead as well. That's something a lot of RVs built around this time were starting to phase out was that big overhead storage. I always thought that was a mistake. I like the big storage. St easy storage below the dinette. That can fold down to a grandkid sleeper. This looks like, if my eyes are not mistaken, a uh, good old fashioned inner spring hide -a bed So that can flip out to sleep a couple of grandkids if need be. Now, if you're looking down here, you're seeing a dryer sheet lay on the floor. I purposely left a couple laying around so I wouldn't forget to talk about it. But, um, and by the way, that's where your water heater is, and it's still got the antifreeze in the lines. This is this hasn't been pulled out this spring. The only reason this is here is the folks bought a new coach, and they just didn't need this one anymore. So they said, hey, can you sell this for us? And we said, heck yeah, that's what we do. Big counter space, very good counter space in this. And actually, I kind of like the, the angular counter with this little prep station on the side here because it's got big, good, open storage underneath. That was well done. This is a, that was well executed up in the kitchen. Put a couple of bar stools right there and that'd be a perfect spot for me to have breakfast with my grandparents when we would camp together. Full overhead uh, storage as well. Oh, look at that. Classic little like uh, garage door style bread box. Oh, that's fun. That's cool right there. Spinning around, don't get seasick folks. Give you just kind of a quick peek. This is a floor flush slide, so you don't have that big toe kick that you're going to contend with. Classic uh, corner entertainment. This was made before we felt like we had to have 95-inch flat screens in our RVs. That is a CD stereo. Let me see. That is DVD as well. Fantastic. It looks like all the remote controls are present and accounted for as well. So this is what I was saying about a rear master suite. We do have twin sliding pocket doors. They kind of meet barn style in the middle to close this off. We've got a big 
closet right here with a pair of drawers. And then right on the other side, we have all of that mirrored again. So this has excellent, excellent bathroom storage. Um, the uh, skylight plus another max air power vent fan um, allowing some, some great light and airflow in here. Corner shower instead of a tub, because this is not a bunkhouse, we don't need all that. The heat registers look pretty fair, you know, it doesn't look like they let a lot of dirt and grind collect down in there. Everything in here, I mean, it looks all right. I mean, it's been stored, so at the very worst, I could say it just needs a quick bath. This was built, I can tell you, this was built with a 74 inch short camper queen. Folks must have replaced this with a full 80 inch queen because it is a little tight getting through here, but who cares? You got a big bed, go for it, you know? Um, I, I'd take a bigger bed over just uh, you know having to squeeze around at any time. I think they did a good job there. The only thing I can really say is it looks like just from years of storage and potential sun exposure, the tires have probably seen better days. If you get down here, you can see that there is some weather checking going on the tires, and it does appear to be present on all of them. Um, I'm not super excited to be presenting that to you, but I also am not in the habit of withholding important information from potential owners like yourselves. So if you enjoy simpler, easier, more honest place and honest way to do business, you're, all, you're on the right track. And if you need hitching, we can do that at our Halet RV Parts and Service Center. You need a truck or you need it just delivered, we can do that. We do everything, so you can just go camping, because isn't that the point? Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.